<laughs> wow, the first makeup video of 2020. Welcome back everyone. Today is gonna be the ultra unique, super exciting everyday makeup update. So every month or every few months, I love to update you guys with what I am putting on my face on a daily basis. This does not include other kind of miscellaneous makeup items that may show up in YouTube videos if I'm doing particular tutorials or brand reviews, things like that. This is the makeup that I have been trying to keep on my desk, the makeup I use on an everyday basis. And I've been trying to shop my stash and use up more of my products before over consuming and buying new ones. So today I'm going to be showing you my up updated everyday makeup bag for the start of 2020 and technically it's not a bag it's a it's a box I got a gold glass box <laughs> on my desk that I put all my makeup in and it looks pretty I did want to note a few things about products before we get started my everyday makeup bag is not going to include I've decided recently a set blush lip or eyeshadow palette because I'm trying to shop my stash and depending on the look that I'm doing, depending on the lip, will also determine the blush and or eyeshadow palette I use and I want to use more of them. I wanna try and do like a weekly little thing for my own little self. So I'm obviously gonna be putting like blush and lips and eyes and things on today. But just know that that's not necessarily included in my like project pan goals. So I wanted to say that and get that out of the way before we get started. And with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to hydrate my lips. This is the Agave Intensive Lip Mask. Ugh. But I always like to start with a lip balm so that my lips are getting hydrated and juicy as we go ahead with the rest of the makeup. And that leads us into this very exciting portion of this video. This is sponsored by Bite Beauty. So Bite, thank you so much for including me in this launch. You guys, I have been teasing you incessantly about this. December 17th, the Shopping My Stash video was the first time I showed it on camera, but I've actually had these products in my hands for quite some time. Bite was very kind and sent me their entire change maker line ahead of time to try. Bite has launched new base products, you guys. Primers, foundations, powder, as well as new power lip crayons, which is incredibly exciting. I've been using it for over a month now, putting it to the test, trying it in different ways. And I'm so excited to finally be able to show you guys the new Bite Beauty face line. There is a primer, a foundation and a powder. Everything is clean, cruelty-free, made with a ton of amazing like superfood ingredients. And I can't wait to show you. So the primers, they have two primers. This is the Change Maker Skin Optimizing Primer. I really love that they called it that. They have two primers, one for oily skin and one for dry skin. Obviously I have the one for dry skin. It's a really beautiful hydrating primer that you put all over your skin to optimize it. <laughs> and it feels very incredible. It's very cooling. The pair of these, like these two together, are just really, really lovely. It's got quite a nice like grippy feeling. It's not that horrible like silicone-y feeling. It just has a little bit of a, a stick to it, which is to help grip onto the makeup and make it last all day long. So that's the primer. Now for the Change Maker Foundation, this is the Supercharged Micellar Foundation. I have the shade L25 and they have 32 shades of this foundation. And this is a medium to buildable coverage, a skin-like finish. And I'm really gonna emphasize the skin-like finish. Once this is blended into the skin, you can't see it at all. It doesn't settle into any of your dry spots or fine lines or whatnot, but at the same time, it doesn't give like an overly oily or glowy look to it. So I think that people with oily skin could really benefit from this, especially when you're using the primer to optimize your skin type. I've tried it with my hands, with the sponge, and with the brush. It's one of those foundations that kind of looks good no matter what you're using it with. But I find that my favorite way to apply this and the fastest way is with my fingers and then I just blend out the edges with a brush. And again, it has that medium buildable coverage. So I'm just gonna place that onto my skin, press it in with my fingers. And then what I like to do once I'm done blending it out with the fingers is just go around the edges with a brush and just make sure that it's all blended in. But what's amazing about this foundation is you can't see it. You can't see it on the skin. It is completely undetectable and it really looks like your skin. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. I think it's incredible. It's such a beautiful foundation for every day, undetectable on the skin, but then you can also build it up to have a little bit more coverage for those fancier nights out. And I actually, because this has such a really nice natural skin finish, I don't find I really need powder with it. However, it does have really beautiful smoothing properties. So once I'm done with the concealer, I'll just take a little bit and put it on my nose and my forehead as well. So the entire change maker system you can get in Sephora stores as well as on the bybeauty.com website. I will link all the information in the description box down below on where you can pick up the new products. You guys let me know what you think of it. Let me know what you think. 
how it looks. Are you gonna try it? Again, thank you so much to Bite for including me in the launch of these products. One product that I have <laughs> tried to use up time and time again, and it just never seems to die, is my friggin' Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I have this in the shade Light Medium. There's only two shades. It's a tragic, tragic shade range, but it's a beautiful formula, and I've got some particularly dark under eye circles today, and I need to use this to help balance out the depth under there. It's super brightening, doesn't settle into any fine lines. It's a really beautiful, creamy formula, but it has a lot more pigment. I think it has a lot more coverage, I find, than the Becca under eye corrector which is the other one that I have tried and used recently and I, I hit pan on this a long time ago but I just need to pull this out and remember to use it so for concealer I have actually lately been using the NARS radiant creamy concealer I've been using some new skincare products which I'll be telling you guys about very soon and because of them I feel like I've been having some good skin days I haven't been needing my intense coverage concealers too much lately and they actually sent me a little travel size of this so I've been using that mainly for my day-to-day -day life however I did pick up a new concealer recently that I haven't tried yet and I know that this is risque and it's kind of cheating in an everyday makeup bag But because it is new to me and I do want to try it It's technically going to be going into my everyday makeup bin I'll update you guys on it later But Becca came out with the light shifter brightening concealer And it's one of these lovely little twisty concealers that has a sponge on the tip Which is incredibly not hygienic Hygienic? Hygiene friendly? <laughs> But concealer is one of my favorite things and I was so excited to try it. I got this in the shade light 2.5 I haven't used this before so this is a risky one But when I put it on my hand, it seemed like really ooey gooey nicely Hydrating and things. Wow. Yeah. Oh my god. It's literally putting like a it looks like it's putting a wet spot on my face Is that making up in the camera? I mean like light shifter. I don't know wet spot adder Yes let me try blending this side out with my fingers. I don't really know what to say about that just yet. Again, I'll keep you guys posted on how I get on with that concealer. All right, well now that we just made our face wet, I'm certainly gonna go in with the, <laughs> the Bite Press Powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on the forehead, down the nose, and without adding any new product, I'll just dust that underneath the eyes. Just to nicely disperse that. Set it in for the day and not get oily. Now for contour, I've been in a long loving relationship with the Tom Ford shade in Illuminate and I have quickly been forgetting my other beloved kind of creamy contouring and bronzing products. So I'm diving in, shopping the stash and pulling out some of my old beloved favorites. I mean, I've been using the Burberry Face Contour Stick which is so delightful. I love this thing, I love this stick. It's so easy to use on the daily. It's so quick and I don't know. It's just so satisfying. This pen packaging just makes you feel like you're like drawing with a Sharpie onto your face and for some reason that just makes it satisfying. I don't know. It's like an art class every time I pull out this little contour stick and it's such a beautiful formula and it blends out so easily. And it's just so quick and lovely to use. So I'm just blending that out on the skin. I cannot promise any nose contouring magic, but I just draw some lines on my nose and blend it out and hope for the best. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna keep two options in my everyday makeup little bag moment. I'm gonna have a cream and a powder. I'm still working on using up my Benefit Hula bronzer, which I hit pan on earlier in 2019, last year. <laughs> so I'm still gonna be using this one. And I also wanted to pull out my Nude Sticks Bondi Bay. I haven't used this in such a long time. It's definitely more something I use when I'm on a hot trip or a hot vacay, but it's such a lovely warm shade and it brings such warm loving love to the skin. And for fear of all of my cream products eventually expiring, I need to start pulling them out more. And that goes the same with my blush, which you guys will see in a sec. Now on to highlighter. I mentioned this before uh, in a Landmas video. I wanted to pull out my hourglass palettes. Like oh, I have a ton of face palettes that never see the light of day in my collection. And this is the unlocked, yeah, the lighting edit unlocked palette from hourglass. And there's this highlighter in here. It's a really beautiful, subtle, Champagne highlight. Yeah, I just wanted to give give this palette some more love. Lovely. 
Well, for blush, I wanted to use this very exciting product. This is the Estee Lalonde collaboration with Nude Sticks. This is her Salty Siren blush, and it's the one that has her signature on the lid, which is so cute and adorable. I love the nudies blushes from Nude Sticks. And Estee, you made a very beautiful shade here, madame. And I'm just using my e.l.f. small stipple brush to blend that out. It's such a lovely, like, peachy pink shade that's suitable for every day, but it's also like deep enough that you could certainly build it up. And I'm so thankful to Nude Sticks for sending this to me and letting me get my hands on this. It's a beautiful shade. Now, when it comes to brows, I certainly have a lifetime supply of brow products and huge thanks to my benefit fam damly. I have refills of my Precise in My Brow Pencil for life. I did use up a Precise in My Brow Pencil recently, which you guys will see eventually in an empties video. But again, in the spirit of shopping my stash, it just wouldn't feel right to open up a new product without using up some of the other um, brow products in my collection. So for example, the Hourglass Arch Brow Pencil. Pen pencil? Pencil. I have this in the shade Blonde. This is a lovely, lovely, very easy to use product. It's got a really thick tip. It's quite the opposite it in terms of use as the benefit one but with my little brow trick I really don't mind it's actually a lot faster because you don't have to be as precise like it does cover a lot more surface area as you apply it so pretty much I just just wipe it all over my brows like look how ugh, it's so pigmented and it's so quick and creamy to apply and I just buff away the edges to remove any of those harsh lines from when we just drew the brow on. And it just automatically gives it that magical, feathery, wispy look as you remove the excess product. So I'm gonna be trying to use up some of the brow products that already exist in my collection. So I'm gonna be putting that in there. I'm still going strong with the soap brows. I'm gonna give it a little spritz with MAC Fix Plus. And I officially figured out what I love about the soap brows because there's a lot of brow gels that do the similar effect. You can get a beautiful pushed up cement hold feathery brow from lots of brow gels but what I like about the soap is that it helps like if you have long unruly brow hairs like myself it helps the hairs to lay flat I don't really know how to explain it but when you apply the soap I really push into my skin and it helps to lay them flat and that automatically kind of gives your brow a more full look when you're when you're getting the entire spread of your hair and I kind of just go through with my finger after and like push the hairs down and there we are a magical feathery soapy brow all right guys for eyes for eyes i'm using the the Surratt product that beautiful lisa eldridge brought into our lives this is a very expensive product and you can certainly purchase any other kind of creamy colored eye pencil but this is the Surratt inner light inner light baton inner light baton but putting a creamy eye pencil in the inner corner either on its own or underneath a shimmery eyeshadow product or a highlighter or the other end of this baton just highlights those inner corners on another level. It's incredible. And now that I've tried it, I find myself not being able to live without it <laughs> on a daily basis. So I've been using that. And as I mentioned before, I'm trying to play with some of the eyeshadow palettes that are in my collection. And I'm I'm like tragically known for not wearing eyeshadow. I'm, I'm a bronzer in my crease kind of gal. Every day when I'm getting ready, I just take an eyeshadow brush and I fluff my bronzer in my eyes and it's such an easy peasy thing to do but I really want to use the eyeshadow palettes in my collection more even if I'm just doing the most simple look which I always do on a daily basis I want to try to get some use out of the bajillion eyeshadow palettes that are in my collection so it's been a hot minute <laughs> since I used the Natasha Denona Biba palette baby and I'm trying to pull this out and bringing back my classic my good old classic faux liner look my little little mini shadow wing to enhance the the look of the eyes so right now I'm gonna dip into this freckle shade and do what I pretty much do with the bronzer and that's just put it in the crease and take that same shadow on the lower lash line and then I'm just gonna really easily enhance this look and this is something that I just want to start doing it makes me look more alive and awake. And when you look alive and awake on the outside, it helps your soul feel more alive and awake as well. So I'm gonna take a little eyeliner brush, dip into cocoa and seed. And all I do is go to my outer corner of the eye and I draw a little line that we'll just imagine connects with the tip of the brow. Try to anyway. 
and just draw a little eyeshadow liner and then I drag it back to the lash line and just fill it in. That is the messiest one I've done ever. Great start, great start. Now this is a beautiful little tip and something I've been doing for such a long time because if you're not an eyeliner person, this is a nice way to get that same eyeliner effect without having like the intensity or depth or difficulty of a liquid liner. <laughs> I do the same thing with like a brown eyeshadow pencil or a crayon, but I just kind of like the soft effect that the shadow gives, especially for an everyday thing because again, it's all the same kind of look and style, but it lacks the intensity, which is great. And then finally, I'm just gonna dip into Shine, that beautiful little gold. And I'll just put that right into the center of the lid for a little bit of shimmer. Easy peasy, everyday eyeshadow look. For mascara, I'm pulling out my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I'm going to, very much like the brow situation, I don't wanna open up any new mascaras until I use up the ones that I have. And then you're finished with a very soft, wispy look on the eyes. My, my favorite everyday thing and my favorite thing in general. Now for lip liners, I just have my little jar of lip liners here. They're pretty much, no, they are not even pretty much. They are all the same two shades. Every brand that I have, I have the same lighter nude and darker nude. So I just grab whichever one I feel on that day. This is the Victoria Beckham number two liner. I'm just penciling that in. And my current goal is to again, I need another term for shop my stash. I've said it so many times already, but I'm trying to use out the products. But many a lip product in my drawer goes unloved and unused, and I currently have a goal of using a different lipstick every day. Today, I pulled out the Glossier Cake lipstick, guys. The Generation G lipstick. Pretty much since they reformulated and repackaged these, I haven't really used it, and that's rude. They deserve some love too, and this is a lovely, lovely everyday nude. So I'm pulling this out. Oh, look at that. Rediscovering old favorites, you guys. What a lovely peachy nude. All right, and then a good final spritz of Max Fix Plus. And this is the finished look, you guys. My current everyday makeup bag. The products that are going to be, it's a makeup box, it's a makeup box. The products that are gonna be living in my everyday makeup box on my, on my desk. The products that I'm trying to use up and the products that are gonna be gracing my face on a daily basis for the days and weeks to come. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, what some of your products that you're pulling out for the new year, what's in your everyday makeup bag. And if you have any products you think I should try, definitely let me know. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and because subscribing is not enough and YouTube is now deciding what they think you want to see, be sure you hit that notification bell if you wanna see when I'm uploading new videos, which is every Monday and Thursday. And if you guys have any video requests, comments, concerns, thoughts, feelings, anything at all, let me know in the comments down below, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the look, and I will see you all on Thursday for another video. Bye!